All right, this is Jake from Maple Forge. Sorry for the weird angle, just my stand doesn't go high enough so the base of the camera is sitting on the forge right now. So, I got the piece, the rest of the holes punched. All right, I waxed it to darken it. Use beeswax and let it kind of smoke on a little bit. So, now I've got the actual candle holder and drip cup with a copper rivet. Now what I did, I put a piece of round stock, let me see if you can see this a little better. I put a piece of round stock in the vise, okay? That's what I'm gonna use to back up the rivet head. All right, so let's see how, uh, how this works. Hopefully I don't tip the camera over, but we're gonna go with this and see what happens. So the cup goes in through here into the hole. Now line it up how you want it. You're going to put the entire piece over this piece of round stock. And of course, I'm not going to have the hammer I'm looking for at the second. This will work. So, let's see how this goes. I might end up heating up this piece a little long. You know, I'm going to cut this down a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, so I cut the head of the uh, length of that rivet down a little bit, it was a little too long. So again, I've got the piece of round stock backing up the uh, head of the rivet inside the cup on a piece of round stock that I've got claimed from the vise. Okay, so again, just let me show you kind of what that looks like. It's upside down, of course, but so you can see you got the head of the uh, stock sticking through for the rivet. All right, so now. Oh, come on. It's going to be a weird angle here, but we'll do the best we can. So now, just going to form this rivet down to tighten it. And again, it's just copper, so it works pretty easily. If you're using a steel rivet, you might want to heat it up. But being copper, it's pretty soft. And try not to hit your thumb. A little, little wiggle. Let me go just a little more. Just a little bit more. It's a little loose still. There we go. Hmm. It looks a little crooked actually. Well, there you go. So that's how you attach it. When you say the bottom's rivet over, you can see that. So there you go. And I'll just do the same thing for the other ones. Actually, it's a little crooked. I gotta try to adjust that a little bit. See here. Oh, okay, well, that can happen. My solder gave out, so I guess I'll have to re solder that while it's on there. But there you go. Lesson learned. If it happens, I can just re solder that joint. Well, all right. Well, you get the idea. We'll solder that joint, re-solder it, and fix that joint. All right. Bye.